Hey friends, welcome back. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm super glad to have you. I hope everyone enjoys the video. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. So you can see I got my painting stuff out again. I've got uh, the 16 by 20 canvas. You can see some darker marks on it. This is one that I had tried, didn't like it and ended up scraping it and I just did a thin coat of white paint just because the canvas itself, the gesso part of the canvas, had uh, the colors from before and I just, it was too distracting. So I was like, okay, we'll do that. Now I've been putting off doing this painting for a little bit because I was so scared, I am so scared, that it's not gonna turn out again. I'm gonna mess it up. But I decided to put on my big girl panties and give it another go. So I've got some lighter colors, black and white. We're swiping with white. I'm using paper towel. I'm gonna to be putting the silicone in the white. I'm also gonna have some white going down on the canvas with the other colors for a little bit of that negative spacing. So I'll go over my colors probably after I have torched and we're waiting for the cells. And I am swiping from the middle. So I'm just gonna be putting colors willy-nilly all over the canvas. So hopefully everyone's day has been going good. Weather-wise, started out pretty nice in my area. And then it got overcast and now it's snowing. I'm not fond of the cold. <laughs> Like, don't get me wrong, I like the whole thought of a white Christmas. <laughs> but if you have to go anywhere, visit friends, family, you don't want to be out and about in a white Christmas. Because <laughs> the roads are dangerous. So. So, yeah. You know, it always looks pretty in the movies. Okay. I was debating on this swipe if I wanted to do um, blobs of color everywhere or something else and or like the stripes and I decided the stripes I think are the way to go. So you can see very light colors. Okay now. I'm using black. This is ivory black. I don't have as much of the paint. I have about 60 grams of every color. About 45 grams, and this is mixed. About 45 grams of the black, 60 grams of the colors, and then, as I said, I wanna add a bit of white to fill in negative spaces. So I'm gonna do that at the end. We'll see if I want to add some more black. Let's get the rest of these colors out. So yeah, I hope wherever you are, you're having some good weather or the weather that you enjoy. <laughs> I won't say good because what's good for one, what I think is good, you might not think is good. So if you're a winter fanatic and you love skiing and snowmobiling and all that stuff, then every time it snows, you are a happy camper. But if you're like me and you're not too keen, then you see the snow and go, no. <laughs> go, I don't want to pull out my winter boots. But you do, because you don't like being cold. So. And those super cold days where you gotta do the boots, the big warm down-filled jacket, some type of hat to cover your head. You know, and if you have to spend more than a couple minutes outside when it's freezing cold, ugh, that's what I don't like. Again, a little bit of snow, I don't mind. When it's just like more of the, the chilliness. So if you've got like uh, Christmas light displays in your city or town, 
and you know go out and look at them with your family with your kids with friends you want to be able to do it and not freeze your tush off right that's how I look at it yeah loving that pop of black I think that was a good call originally I was thinking oh we'll just do light colors I want something soft and I always tend to put in too dark of a color <laughs> I've messed that up a few times you've noticed that if you've been keeping track watching my painting videos if you're new feel free to go back through my playlist I do have one for painting and you can see my progression It is a new hobby for me and I am enjoying it immensely. Lots to learn. There's lots of techniques I haven't tried yet. And I'll get to them. Don't worry. Just kind of want to conquer some of these techniques first and, you know, get that confidence. And it, it's coming. It's definitely coming. I have noticed a big difference in my pores. So hopefully you've noticed a difference as well. Now getting the paint on the canvas always takes a bit longer than you think. But that is part of the process. Scraping out all the paint. I've got about oh, over 400 grams of paint here, including white. I'm using it, as I said, both my swipe color as well as uh, I'm going to put some in as well. But I will do that after I've tilted the paint, gotten it all over where I need it to go. I always worry I don't have enough paint. And I know if I have to, I can pause you and off camera go and mix up some more paint. And you don't need as much for a swipe as you do for, say, a flip cup. Okay, originally I wasn't going to use all the black, but I'm loving that pop of color, so... Even though I guess black isn't uh, really a color. What is it? All the colors combined make black, and white is void of color? I think that's how it is. Or I'm just making stuff up. I don't know. This last little bit of blackout. My cats are sleeping, and the one cat that likes to kind of get in the way <laughs> while I'm doing stuff, I have him in a room so he doesn't try and break in even though I'm sure you don't care about that. Moving this paint side to side. You can see some of it's running faster than other parts. I already mentioned this is a 16 by 20 canvas. That green still seems pretty dark. I'm trying to get over the edges here. Put that along there. Oh, 
I am going to add some white because it needs it. Hopefully that will help. Let my paint sit for about 40 minutes or so. But I probably could have let it sit for quite a bit longer by the looks of it. Just getting my paint over to more that end. We'll get it off the top there. Get it all the way over. The top and the bottom I don't have to worry about as much because those are the ways, the, the direction that I'm going to be swiping. Need a bit more off that corner. Here I am thinking I'm doing great, getting it all over. See, lots of air bubbles. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong that's causing me to get more air bubbles than most, or maybe this is the way it is. As I said, there is no silicone in the paint. I'm putting it in my swipe color only. I see a little hair that thinks it can be in my painting. Don't know why it thinks that. Let's get this last side and see if that hair will go off the edge. Well, it's going off because I'm making it go off. Okay. Need a little bit of paint on my edges there. See how that one's doing. So definitely an interesting pattern that's going on already. I do have my palette tool. I know I could use it if I really wanted to. <laughs> but for some reason I decided, no. Okay, just wiping off my hands because I gotta add the silicone. I'm gonna add two drops of silicone. So I made uh, 60, 70, 80 grams of the white paint. I probably don't quite need two drops in there, but that's what my head is telling me. So either that's gonna be a good or a bad thing. One, two, eh, there, it drizzled in. So there's a lot of silicone in here. So hopefully I don't ruin this painting. I don't want this canvas to turn into one of those canvases where it just, it's jinxed or cursed. So I'm stirring in my silicone quite well. I've heard lots of people say no you only do it a couple times or you'll break down the oil I've heard other people say no that's not the case so I'm not sure what's going on but we're gonna give this a quick torch before we do the swipe to get some of those air bubbles Not too close, you don't want to burn your paint. Okay. So let's figure out where my center is. Probably right about there. Does that look center to you? Okay, I'm gonna do that much for now. So with the paper towel, I am gonna be wetting it down. Just off camera, I haven't gone anywhere. So don't worry. 
just making it slightly damp. Let's see. It's always harder than it looks. I get it all in the white. Now we will pull. Oh, I'm not going very straight. Okay, there is one. Now that I've gone to bigger paintings, it's like I almost need <laughs> a bigger tray. Oh no. <laughs> uh, you just can't win sometimes. Okay. Now again, I'm going to try it the same way. I got a vent underneath my table and it's either the vent or myself that's making the paper towel move. Okay. So there's that side. I'm just going to use my tool. And clean up the edge here. Okay. Now we get to spin this painting around. Sorry, I have to clean up these sides. I don't want it to drip on my floor. That's just more to clean up. We don't want that. Okay. Still have white paint left and I feel like I'm gonna have to... Put a bit more on. Okay. It's still in frame. Yes, it's still in frame. All right, let's put on, sorry, yelling into the microphone. Okay. Wet my hands off before I grab my spray bottle. Running out of paper towels. Lovely. That one was pretty good. Proud of that one. Last one. And then we get to torch. We'll see. This has worked out with what I saw in my head. Versus what happens. Okay, a little tiny bit got missed. So let's rip off just that edge. Pull him down. I'm fiddling, I shouldn't be doing this. There we go. Okay, I'm going to get this paper towel out of the way so I don't burn it. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, I'm still taking longer than I probably need to. Give it one torch. Some cells coming up. Okay, we'll 
give that a minute. I'm going to add some paint on this edge here, just because it's not looking that nice and I can see my old swipe. I'll probably have to paint my edges on this one. There's some more paint. Yeah, I didn't get a lot of paint tilted off, did I? Cells definitely aren't growing. Not as much as I figured. So I'll quickly show you the colors I use. So we've got rose pink. Oh, the snow's coming down now. Light blue permanent. Light pink. Thalo cy cyanine green. And I added white to this. So I did about three parts green, one part white. Deep violet added white this added white to this one as well three parts white three parts purple one part white and Naples yellow so those are the colors let's torch again give it a bit more heat this time Really looking for that black to pop up. That was my cord that just fell in. Let's get that out of the way. I was holding it out of the way so I could go under with my blowtorch. So that didn't work that well. Okay, to not bore you along, because this video is taking way too long, I'm going to torch off camera and I'll be back with the final reveal. Okay, I hope the lighting is good enough that you can see all the cells. So I went a little uh, trigger happy with my blowtorch, but I love the results. I love the white negative spacing that you can see popping up. I love the hints of black, giving it that pop. The colors are just, they all change. Like it's very yellowy there, then peachy. We got purples and greens, blues and the pinks. Lots of small cells, lots of big cells. A lot of interest in this. This is not what I had in my head on how this was gonna look totally different but I'm very happy with this piece. The only part I don't like are my edges and I'm probably going to paint those after just because they look they look pretty wonky. Uh yeah <laughs> I don't like them but I didn't paint them after I had scraped and painted it white. I didn't paint the edges so that's probably what my issue is but that's besides the point. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. I really appreciate it and I appreciate you. Until next time.